Hey everybody, welcome back. If you are new, my name is Chris. Typically I film outside in the summer. However, it has been raining for about three days solid. I have not filmed in about three weeks. I just got back from vacation and it's time to get back into the swing of things. So here I am filming back inside in my library. Today's video is a video I did last year around this time white t-shirt fragrances. So what is a white t-shirt fragrance? And I don't even know if I made up this category or not, is something that I wear when I'm wearing like t-shirt and shorts. T-shirt and shorts. It's usually a warm weather fragrance and something I'm wearing casually in more casual situations, typically on the weekend. Yes, I am that bizarre. I have a group of fragrances that fit perfectly into that category. And to me, the OG white t-shirt fragrance, white t-shirt jean short fragrance has been Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. You may or may not see that fragrance or a flanker later on in the video, but I have 10 fragrances that are my easy reaches, grab and go, casual fragrances that I like to wear when it's hot. They all are perfect for warmer weather. Could I wear these in the colder weather? Sure, but I typically do not. And since I like to match my outfit to the theme of the video, I could not find my white t-shirts. <laughs> They were all dirty. I had taken them, all my t-shirts, I had taken them on vacation or worn them previously. And I pulled out the only white t-shirt, the one t-shirt I got as a souvenir at the Seaside Florida gift shop. And so here we are. And by the way, if you have a chance to go down to Seaside Florida, oh my goodness, it's just east of Destin. It is one of the prettiest beaches in all of the country. So I highly, highly, highly recommend going down there. White sand, blue, crystal clear, blue, turquoise sea water. It is stunning. So you're still gonna hear the sounds of nature since it is 10 o'clock at night. Yes, it took me a little bit longer. I waited as long as I could for the weather and then I just decided we're gonna come inside. It's 10 o'clock, you're gonna hear the frogs. Maybe, maybe not. And with that, let's just dive in for my white t-shirt fragrances and I'm going to grab and go and this perfume Oh gosh, I think I've only talked about it one time. I wanna say it was in my clean girl, clean chic video from last year. And it is by a nice little indie house called For the Scent of It. And this one is called Nearly New. So if you like fragrances like Juliet Has a Gun, not a perfume, you are more than likely going to like this perfume. Is it a dupe? This is not a dupe house, they are original creations. Is it the same fragrance? No but it's in that ballpark. It's kind of like your skin, but better. It's got a botanical musk, so musk mallow ambrette. It's got a beautiful ambrette, so, and a lot of iris. And I smell that in the beginning, and then it's got a little sweetness in the dry down, so kind of like that your skin, but better. I had a couple people tell me they got some sort of like a, a woody nuance. There's no wood in here per se, at least as far as I know. I mean, I guess there could be sandalwood in here, but it really does smell like a soft, powdery, musky, botanical musk, an ambrette with a sweet vanillic dry down that's sweet, but it doesn't go into gourmand territory. And the, um, the CEO or the head of this company, the, the creator of this brand, this is his uh, wife's favorite out of all his creations. I wanna say he has, oh, he's got several fragrances. This is his favorite. And for a kind of a your skin but better musk fragrance, this has tremendous lasting power. So we're gonna start with Nearly New. And so which one am I gonna pull next? So white t-shirt fragrances don't typically to me read vanilla but in the summer vanilla is one of my favorite notes and i love a salty vanilla and sometimes i just want to wear a delicious salty vanilla when i'm out and about casually and one of my favorites has shockingly been an alien an alien flanker i do not like i have not hidden the fact that i do not like alien it is not me and I basically don't like any of the flankers. It was just too much of that indolic jasmine. So it took me forever to try. Alien Goddess, I tried it in Ulta, like I can't remember, and I bought it right there on spot. 
loved it. I love it for the reasons why people haven't loved it. Because it's far removed from the original. I haven't even tried the Alien Goddess Intense, which apparently goes back to the original DNA or gets closer. If that's the case, I don't want to try it. I don't need to. I have one that I love. I love this salty vanilla. Now it's a salty, to me it reads salty vanilla, but I do not believe there is salt in here. It's got jasmine. Where are my dabbers? Okay, I found a small index card because my daughter studies in here. So it's got, um, it's got that jasmine. Oh, it smells so good. So it is a citrusy, fresh, white floral perfume with vanilla and it's got coconut water. So the coconut water in here reads kind of like um, an electrolyte. An electrolyte is salt. Ooh, you hear that thunder? Yes, that's why I'm inside. So even though it's not salty, the coconut water, and if you've ever had coconut water, like coconut water straight out of the coconut, it, it can have this, it's not sweet. It borders on being salty. And that's how, that's what I get here. It's this coconut water that's almost like an electrolyte. So it's faking me into thinking this is a salty vanilla. So the jasmine in here is so pretty. It's not animalic at all. And it's got some nice citruses. I'm sure there's a bergamot in here. Gosh, it smells so good. And again, vanilla without being gourmand. I would say it's in the ballpark of like vanilla vibes or beach walk. Beach walk was more sunscreeny. Um, vanilla vibes was a lot muskier. This one out of the three is way and away my favorite. But if you have others kind of similar, you probably don't need that. But thrilled with this one. I do wear it actually when I'm more dressed up. Since I do like to wear this in the summer and I never wear these type of fragrances in the winter, I like to wear Alien Goddess when I get a chance. And what I didn't say in the beginning is that since a lot of these are more casual, most of these um, are more budget friendly. I think they're all, all of them are under, I have them in a bucket over here, under a hundred. And I have a couple of bougie white t-shirt fragrances. So I wanna say this one, I don't know, runs 60 to $80. And I got this one at Joma Shop for way under $100. So the next one, we're gonna go with the ultimate classic white t-shirt fragrance. It is Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. This is a terrific classic freshie that I will always own. It was in my lemon fragrances because this is a lemon heavy perfume. This is not my first bottle. This is my second bottle. I had to get rid of my other bottle because it was, it had turned. It was old and I didn't, I probably didn't store it properly when I first got it. So time for a new one. So this is really a lemon cedar musk perfume and most freshy fragrances with lemon. The lemon just, citruses just, ugh, citruses just don't hang out that long. They tend to evaporate. This is one of the few lemon heavy fragrances where the citrus where the lemon really hangs around for a really long time. So there's a musk and a nice, you know, cedar base. This is a fragrance that my dog is barking at the thunder. This is a fragrance that I have complimented people when I smell it out and about and a beautiful classic freshy that I will, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I don't get tired of some of these older fragrances that have been around for a while. Hey, listen, I love discovering new fragrances like the next person, but I am super glad that I still enjoy the classics, even if they're, you know, not super complex and been around for a while. I love this one. It smells fantastic and it doesn't offend anyone. A great white t-shirt fragrance that's classic. Okay, another fantastic white t-shirt fragrance. This was in my white t-shirt fragrance from last year and I might just use that thumbnail. <laughs> Hold on a sec, let me pose. Okay, so I have my picture if I need it. This Shiseido Zen is, this is not my first bottle either. I got this ages ago, wore it all the time, and then picked another bottle up, I wanna say three years ago. And since my collection is so huge, it hasn't gotten a ton of wear. I wear this in the summer when I'm casual, out and about running errands. This is my version, I said this before, this is my take on Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. They smell very, very similar. 
This one is fresher, it's brighter, it's zingier. It's got, it's got some zingy tangy notes that replace some of the sweetness, and I wanna say praline, in Coco Mademoiselle. So grapefruit, pineapple, and I wanna say this, the flower in here is Phrygia. And, it, and it's patchouli. It, it is a patchouli heavy fragrance like Coco Mademoiselle that for some reason, one of the few patchouli heavy fragrances that to me works great in the summer is probably because it's got that really bright crunch of grapefruit and pineapple to really lift it up and give it some, some zing and freshness. And even though this is a patchouli heavy fragrance and patchouli does tend to make a fragrance last longer, it's not a super long lasting fragrance. You know, but again, I wouldn't want to like coat myself or spray it too heavily. So I would say moderate performer, but a classic white t-shirt fragrance. Another one that I used to talk about all, all, all the time, got a ton of hype maybe a year or two ago. I bought this. When I bought this like three years ago, I got it for like $30. And now, I mean, I think ever since it got a lot of recognition on social media, the prices have come up, but it's still for what you get. It's a fantastic perfume, and I want to say, like, I think I checked a couple days ago. It's like sixty dollars. This is Trusati Donna. This is the EDP. I got the EDT. Got rid of it um, because I like this one better. But this has made so many of my small, expensive on a budget, best affordable fragrances for a reason. It's not groundbreaking, but it just smells so dang good. This is like vacation in a bottle. This is like yuzu lemonade, which moves into some soft white flowers, and it has a, a sweet sandalwood in the dry down. It's just, it's a great scent. It's easy. It's the perfect vacation white t-shirt fragrance. It's not a sunscreeny fragrance. When people hear vacation, they think of sunscreen. No, very easy reach perfume and could easily be a signature scent. Again, it's not gonna last forever. That's why it does well in the summer, in the hot weather, in more casual situations. So a couple of very budget friendly white t-shirt fragrances. One is called Still by Jennifer Lopez. I bought this because it has a note of rice, which if you are new, I am obsessed with carbs in a perfume and rice in a perfume. And guess what? I get, I bought this blindly because it was dirt cheap. It was under 30 bucks. I'm gonna say like $18. Um, I wanna say I got it on Fragrance Net. This, I can't detect any rice at all. But so this is a green apple tea with some light florals and the teensiest bit of sweetness from a very, very light amber. So you get a little bit of sweetness from that, that apple, that green apple. It's very tea forward, like a white tea or a green tea, beautiful light tea, a little bit of florals in the background blended. I don't know what they are. And it's just fresh and lovely and pretty and light and feminine. And again, super affordable. I checked right before this video to make sure that it was not discontinued because I haven't worn this in forever. I think it's been a year. I think there was a set on Joma Shop and I have a landing page on Joma Shop. I'll put a link below. And it came in a set like fragrance, lotion, body wash for around $30, I wanna say. So very, very, very affordable white t-shirt perfume. Another budget friendly option is another tea fragrance. This one by Elizabeth Arden, and this is called White Tea. It was kind of late to the white tea train. I had Bulgari Eau Te Blanc, which is a white tea, which was my very favorite white tea perfume for ages. I absolutely love that perfume. However, it has been discontinued. Oh no, it's not been discontinued, but it's been reformulated and the reformulated version, I still have my original formulation, is just kind of a shadow of the original. It's very, very light from what I hear some of my friends who have purchased it. So um, I thought I would try this. I did buy this blindly. I got it for like $28 on Joma Shop. I mean, for nothing, this huge bottle, it is an EDT. So this is an EDT. It reads kind of like an EDT. So this is a white tea, but this one um, is a little bit more soapy. It's a little bit more fresh. It's a little bit more floral. This has like an oceanic note or a watery note or an ozonic note. So it's a, there's a little bit of that kind of that fresh, ocean vibe going on. Yes, yeah, some, some sort of watery freshness, a touch green. There's a little bit of greenness in here. 
So it's clean, fresh and soapy, but not like screechy. And it's just, it really does smell like a freshly laundered, clean t-shirt, like right out of the dryer. So good, such a good little cheapie. And now it looks like we're gonna be moving on to some bougie white t-shirt fragrances. So the bougiest white t-shirt fragrance here is Gypsy Water by Byredo. This to me is a fabulous gateway vanilla. It's just such a nice perfume. It's light wearing. I never wear this when I'm kind of super dressed up. It has to be in the summer and summers here in the Midwest. It gets really cold in the winter and it gets really hot in the summer. So summer is hot. And I only wear this in the summer because it is very light wearing and it does it does not cut the cold here. So it doesn't, the performance is even worse in the cold. I just find this is a warmer weather fragrance for me. So it is in a citrusy aromatic vanilla. And the vanilla in here is present, but it's not gourmand. It's got some freshness. So you've got your citruses, your yellow citruses at the top. There is a little bit of woodiness in here. It does have a, a woody note to it, but it's not overly woody. I wanna say there's pine or pine needles. It does smell a little bit evergreeny, but not too much in your face. It does have incense. I'm a huge incense lover. It does not scream incense. So maybe giving it a little bit of depth, warmth. It's a very unique perfume. And I do layer this with the oil perfumery Oil, and I can get it to last much, much longer. So a really good, a bougie white t-shirt fragrance. Let's see. The next one I have is, um, actually I got a pretty good deal on this one. This one is one from Joe Malone and this is called Poppy and Barley. This one gets so overlooked. I bet you thought I was gonna pull out Wood Sage and Sea Salt, which is another great white t-shirt, kind of a bougie white t-shirt fragrance. No, I wanted to show Poppy and Barley because this one gets really overlooked. I have Wood Sage and Sea Salt and love it. But this one is really, really nice. So this is a fig based or a fig prominent fragrance, and fig and I don't always get along, but the, this is a fig, fig leaf fragrance. It's a watery fig, you know, not overly ripe, not super green, musk, there's some citruses. Uh, I wanna say there's cassis in here, uh, which uh, leaves twigs of the black currant. So pretty fresh, lovely warmer weather fig centered fragrance and I really bought it for the barley and I don't get the barley till the very end. The dry down is in between like woody and like a cereal. So it comes off like a sweet, there's gotta be some sort of sweetness in here. So it's like a sweet, like a dry cereal, woody dry down, really love it. And the this one is actually a little bit better performer than wood sage and sea salt. It's still not a beast, but it's not whisper quiet. So yeah, poppy and barley. So the next one we have, this one is kind of bougie, and this is by a an indie house that I discovered on Instagram last year. Who is Elijah? A new, I think they've been around for a year. They just celebrated their year anniversary so they are clean line from australia but they do have they do have a u.s distributor anyways i bought the discovery set when they first came out when i first heard of them and the one that really spoke to me the most i have two full bottles and their entire travel set or discovery set which the one i bought had the travel sizes which i love i love discovery sets that do that because i mean they're great you have more than just a couple of spritzes so the one that really spoke to, the one which was my first full bottle was called His, Her, and this is a, this is not a dupe house, but it reminds me, it's what I wanted kind of Santel uh, 33 to be. It is a feminine or more feminine version of Santel 33. So it is a sandalwood based fragrance. It's fresh, but not dill. It doesn't go in the pickle zone, but the freshness, is more in the cucumbery zone. It's warm, but still fresh. And it has a greenness to it, whether that's like ivy or violet leaf, it's one or the other. It, this is so addictive. This was, I could not stop wearing this in the springtime. And this was the perfume that I wore if I was going to be around somebody. Back from a battery change. So what I was saying was, I love this perfume. 
I wear it to work. It's completely inoffensive. It is, it is completely inoffensive, and I wear it around those whom, who I'm not sure like fragrance. In fact, I wore this down to Houston. My mom is really, really picky with perfume. She hates, she dislikes anything gourmand. But I was just really into this perfume house, and I wore this down like February, March. I visited them twice. And my mom, I remember sitting on the couch, and she was like, you smell good. You smell really nice. What are you wearing? And I was shocked. It was his, her, and I brought down my little travel spray. So I haven't been wearing this a ton in the summer, and I just spoke about morning after in the video. I just filmed about an hour ago. They're actually quite similar as well, but there are enough differences. In fact, one time I wore them side by side at work. I wore one on one arm, one on the other, and it was split down the middle half, and people could clearly tell the difference, and they clearly had preferences. But who is Elijah? His, her is a great kind of white canvas, blank slate, white t-shirt fragrance that I'd probably wear when I was wearing um, a white t-shirt, a fancy white t-shirt, and this works well when it's not blisteringly hot either because it's got some oomph because it is a woody perfume. And then for the last one, I had to have an OG or a flanker of the OG, the original white t-shirt fragrance, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I've had light blue intents for years and years and years and would wear it like once or twice a summer, but I could not get rid of it. I still think that it just smells so good. It's a great smelling and I it's a great smelling fragrance and I just could never get myself to declutter it. And it just may be time to go because I got the newest flanker this summer and this is light blue summer vibes. I'm not gonna lie, I fell in love with that bottle. I mean these are my, my favorite colors. This print, this kind of Mediterranean, it's like my favorite print of all time. And it had me like 80%. It had me, I was about to buy the bottle, but I went ahead, I swung by Ulta, tested it and loved it. So this and the original Dolce & Gabbana light blue are very similar. In my opinion, if you are a normal person and I am not a normal person, most of us content creators are not normal people. Um, we have more perfumes than we need and there's a lot of overlap. I'm trying to do less of that. They are very similar, but they do have some differences. This has less musk than the original. This has peach instead of the green apple. There's still citruses, but this is peach. The original had green apple, lemon. It's a touch sweeter. This has cedar in the base, but a little bit powdery. And I didn't really pick up peach per se. I mean, I knew it was there and you know, your brain kind of wants you to think it's peach. Every once in a while I think, oh, I do smell peach. And sometimes I think I don't smell peach. So it does have a fruity sweetness, which I definitely could convince myself is from the peach, but it really is very well blended. So a little bit more sweeter than the original, a little bit less musky. This one is light wearing. This is gonna be a good one for a hot, hot day. You can coat yourself and probably get half the day, but I really do love it. And I got it on sale at Joma Shop. So that's it. Those are my 10 white t-shirt fragrances. I have more, but these are the ones that, these are the ones that I have worn this year, except I don't think I've worn still, but I wanted to talk about it. It's a great white t-shirt fragrance, but classy, but casual grab and go fragrances that are great in the hot weather when you're just out and about, maybe not going anywhere fancy, but you still wanna smell good. Thanks for stopping by, thanks for supporting me. If you have any great white t-shirt fragrances or something in a similar category or with a similar vibe that I didn't talk about and you want us all to know about, let us know in the comment section below. And with that, I'll see you on the next one.